The day had come for Ricky to go and get our new dinghy. Well, I stayed on the boat and got ready for the day ahead. Ricky totally just like took the dinghy right past me to the frame. Like, I haven't been waiting for this dinghy at all. No. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. I like how you just totally go past me. Like, it's not my dinghy. I know it's your dinghy. And? And it felt good, but we got to get rid of that one first and feel what it feels like with two of us. With me, it's playing perfectly fine. Like better than that one? Yeah, then? way better. Okay. Come, let's, let's ditch that one and go for a spin quickly. You're making everyone uncomfortable here. Yeah. Get that one out of the way. Ah. So we got our new dinghy and we got a friend here that has a 9.8 horsepower two stroke and we got the six so we're gonna he said we can borrow to do oh that sun's so bright he said we can borrow to do a test and see how it works um, because we are considering upgrading the engine at a later stage and then tomorrow there's a friend that has a 15 we're gonna test that too so we can like kind of see um, which one will be the sweet spot. We ideally want to try and get three people to play on the rib, which would be perfect. Are you ready for this? You gotta put it in gear. says tomorrow I can take his 15 for a spin. Cool. So we're gonna mount the 15 on here also. Ricky came to pick me up at the boat to see if we could plane with two people on, which we could, but we couldn't when we were three people, so I definitely think the sweet spot would be a 15 horsepower for when we do some provisioning. So we just got up this morning, and there is, this is the first day that there's absolutely no wind in the Caribbean this morning. And we're in about five, six meters of water. Let's check out this buzz. Straight down, empty, empty. One or two bottles down there. There's a marine ball, a marine block. Go check that one. Me and Marty are going to do a dive this morning. I think it's going to be a really good buzz. 
<laughs> Check out all the little fish. I'm gonna fly the drone quickly because it's epic. Fish. Oh, hun, come check ya. Bait. There's a whole bunch of bait fish there. If you throw a sabiki in there, you, you'll, you'll catch them. Oh, it's too soon. Why? I'm really starting to feel a little breeze coming. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. What's our POA for today? So, you yeah. trying to imitate me? Yeah. <laughs> Plan and action is to go to the grocery store and show you the groceries. I need flip flops. Where am I? Your flip flops are here. Where are your flip flops? I don't know. Sweet. We're good to go now. And we're gonna go, or we're just buying snacks? What are you buying? Not cheese. Cold meat. A little bit of normal cheese, not stinky cheese. And um, what else? Just snacks. Snacks! Let's go. When are we moving uh, out again? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. Cool. And how are you liking our new dinghy? Ah, fuck off! Big turtle! <laughs> 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 Did you get a fry? <laughs> Come in here! <laughs> We've arrived on the land and right. we went to go scout uh, some of the, sh the hardware shops to get a um, cable to lock up our new dinghy. So because it was expensive so we're gonna lock up our new dinghy and we managed to get a cable we just have to crimp it ourselves and then we were looking for a combo like combination lock but uh, no luck no luck just yet but um yeah now we're gonna go buy some groceries some snacks and Man. then get fat and, fat and sassy <laughs> and then head off uh, Back to the bit. Should we go see yeah, what's at the food place? I'm trying to find where the locals eat. Like I'm not trying to go to the like the commercial yeah, the restaurants. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Because there's a gas station. Well let's go this way then. After a bit of walking around we managed to find a reasonably priced grocery store. salmon steaks after getting our weekly groceries it was time to head off to the next anchorage it's a sunday morning we have well we feel like we've thoroughly explored um, limerin so what we're gonna do now is lift up anchor and go up to the next bay which is called Ground ants or less ants? Yeah, there's a ground ants in Grenada too. Yeah, but I don't think it's just like. Not said, French. I don't think it's said the same or spelled the same, but we yeah. just say ground ants. So we're gonna go up there and hang out for the day, and then we'll head up one to night. yeah one night, and then we'll head up to um, the other bays and then Fort de France, and then uh, yeah, explore that. And oh man, it is so calm today. I think it's probably one of the calmest days we've had on like leaving. So I think it's gonna be a nice motor obviously. But yeah, we're excited to get to the next bay and explore it. We got a little stagnant this side, um, had a few lazy days. 
where we stayed on board and just watched movies and yeah didn't do much so now it's good to be on the go again and because I feel like if you stop in one spot for too long you get stuck and then you're like I don't want to leave so nice you get lazy so yeah so we're excited to get going and exploring Martinique a little bit more. We're pretty much buddy boating Martinique with friends of ours from Canada, Marty and Michelle. We looked after their boat in Grenada when they flew home, if you guys remember. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be hanging out with them and exploring Martinique. They both speak French, so it definitely helps out a bit as well when it comes to minor Ricky charades and translations. Had a lot of lost in translation experiences happening to us on the island. Nothing crazy serious, but yeah, it's been fun. Are you ready to carry on adventuring? Ready to adventure beyond the adventure. We, we've had enough time, mate. Yeah, we were getting a little lazy. Yeah. Lazy bones. When we start having more days spent inside than outside doing things, then you know. I think our skin enjoyed not being in the sun for so long. Yeah, and with the the new dinghy is really nice, but with the out the additional power, it's a heck of a trip to go all the way inside there. And like today is fine because it's only like 15 knots, apparent. I don't know, like true 15. Going to that usually it's 20 knots into the and you're in a tiny little rib with no power, not enough power to play, and then. It's a long trip. It's like 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back, and you're getting... We're not getting wet though. No, we're not getting wet. Not with the new rib. It's a big plus. So our new rib is sleeping comfortably there on the back. And our new rib is sleeping comfortably at front here. We got to sell her. A little sad, but... Like we're happy with our upgrade and I think it was the right decision for us at the moment. Especially, you know, when we want a plane and we want to get somewhere. And I feel like the further north we're going, the further everything is from each other. So our day trips are much longer than they were in Grenada or in St. Vincent. So yeah, we, we're going to have to upgrade our motor as well. But at the moment, you know, money talks. So we have to budget for that. Put up our Jenny. Motor sailor in. <laughs> Probably gonna turn the motor off now. You, you think the wind's good enough? It's not good enough. We're gonna go slow, but we're not in a rush, are we? Nah. And fuel is pet uh, fuel's petrol prices. Fuel is um expensive, European prices. <laughs> Gotta say fuel. Bumble dog. Put it wide out, yeah. <laughs> but Marty's running engine, he says it's not a gear though. Ricky's like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> oh, it's fun sailing downwind, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like you just do nothing. Five knots, and you're doing nothing. Kid in a candy shop. It's super nice today though, like, I think we chose a very good day. I suppose it's going to be like this the whole week, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good week. So it's a good week to actually go and head off to Fort de France and go check that out. And yeah, very nice. Just as the sunrise starts to show Ricky wants to put our bamboo dog up. If you don't know what our bamboo dog is, we named that during Atlantic Crossing. Well, actually, Glenn named it and then we stuck with the name. Um, so, bamboo dog is our asymmetric. So, we're going to pop our asymmetric so that we can give Marty and them a little race. Before, I can't recall the time and 
Don't know if life is a small part of something greater. And when you get up Trim on your side and then we'll do the front end trip. Bamboo Dog is looking a little tired after the Atlantic crossing. <laughs> that beautiful rainbow of colors she was is now like a sad, sad sight. I honestly didn't think I'd be that excited that a sale's going up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was excited. That guy was a dog. <laughs> I think it brings back memories. <laughs> Unconsciously. Good. Oh, there's all the fishing, fishing parts and stuff. Man. You're gonna have to dump, dump the sale, dump the sale. Shit! Bumble dog died! <laughs> <laughs> Only one Atlantic crossing. <laughs> one Atlantic crossing and one blue dog's gone. But she was tired, eh? Check it out. Maybe we can see that. The torn Vambu dog, a torn asymmetric. <laughs> We're still doing 5.5 knots on 8 knots. But don't zoom because it's only showing 5 now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get it down. Busted! Dummy three! Oh shit, how much is this gonna cost us? This could get expensive. How expensive? I don't know. Give me a rough figure. I'll have to chat to my friends. <laughs> yeah. But she was old. She we didn't have her from well she looked brand new when we had it, but she'd been lying around for at least five, six years. And she did an Atlantic crossing 44 days flying, 24 hours a day. So she's earned her pay. That sucks, man. I'm pretty darn bummed. Ah. And I wish like if it was a, a mistake we made like you could understand it but it's just like it's a bad it's we knew sale. the sale was shot it that that sale realistically is about yeah close it wasn't, to 10 years old yeah it, it was in storage, storage all the years but it's still no bueno and by the time we crossed the atlantic she changed all her colors and everything the material was completely stretched she was totaled that's sailing for you. you. Your highs are high. You got your spinnaker out. You're fishing. It's beautiful weather. A fish bangs the line. And then a fish bangs the line. And actually, I think it was a fish. I think we caught a little. It was a fish, huh? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. We caught some pod thingy. Fishing so the fishing line's going. Our spinnaker's up. And we normally have a rule that you don't have fishing line and a spinnaker at the same time. But because it's such chilled weather, we're like, eh. Yeah. And then that happened, so then I was holding onto the rod, Ricky was dumping the sail, and then fishing line in. And then when we finally got the line in, we were like, let's put up the spinnaker again, put up the spinnaker, shot. Two seconds later. Two seconds later. So you don't have a fish and you don't have a spinnaker now, and that's really low. <laughs> so highs and lows. Generally no in between. <laughs> okay, let's get the suck up. Let's put the Genoa back up. Next week on Sailing Lady Africa, we explore Galandans de Re and do some of the best diving we've done in a really long time. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.